apron spinning. What is up YouTube? We are here for our first race of the Battle of Paints Cup Series season here at Daytona for the Exalta 500. Who knows who we could see win this race. 13 drivers will be attempting to win this one. And here's the starting lineup. First is Michael Canto, second is Isaac Redmond, third Bob Harden, fourth James Kinghart, fifth Mathis Wells, sixth Casey Hogan, Sam and Jr. in seventh. Rob Evans in 8th, Corey LaJoy 9th, in 10th you've got Zay Williams, 11th is Bengals NASCAR 13, uh, Bengals NASCAR 39, and in 13th to round out the field is Nathaniel Penner. So we'll go ahead and get going guys for a 20 lap shootout. Fuel strategy could play into this as they are not running f full tanks, so that way they are still going to have pit strategies in these shorter races. Very many good cars will be in this race. Many good drivers. In the test race, Sam and Jr. showed some speed, but it was that Exalta All Pro Teachers car driven by, um, I don't remember the exact driver name, <laughs> no, oh, James Kinghart. That was before he signed up for it, but. That car showed some speed. We could possibly see that car go to victory lane today. Very many things to play into this. Coming into the trial. Green flag. We are racing at Daytona. And it's Michael Canto to pull up in front of Isaac Redmond. With Bob Harden following in line. And then you got Michael... Not Michael Canto. Uh, Mathis Wells following behind there. Out of turn two and down the back stretch. Sam Ann Jr. to the inside of Mathis Wells. He will go right by Isaac Redmond. Looks like he will lead lap one here, but oh Sam Ann Jr. comes down to block Rob Evans on the inside line, and it was Isaac Redmond to lead that lap by a nose. Then he turns one and two, they come now. Sam Ann Jr. has the lead now with help from Rob Evans, and they will clear Isaac Redman. Now Mathis Wells will jump down to the inside and try and take that spot away. Battling down the back stretch and it's Rob Evans to the inside to try and contend for the lead and he will drive right around. Teammate on the Mountain Dew team Mathis Wells following in line and Rob Evans is out front with Sam and Jr. behind. Mathis Wells cannot make that pass. He will just tuck back in line. Trying to hold off Sam and Jr. though is Rob Evans out in front. Through one, through one and two they go. 
And they're off of turn two. And Mathis Wells jumps out of line there, and looking to get around Isaac Redmond and quite possibly pass Sandman Jr., and he will not. Mathis Wells falls behind Sandman Jr. in line, and here he comes. And Sandman Jr. just barely gets in front of him to pull off the block. Could he make that move on the inside line? And nope. Sandman Jr. will come down to block once again. He's got Bob Harden behind him with Casey Hogan. And Isaac Redmond starting to fall back through the field now. Go on board with Casey Hogan here. He turns three and four. Looks like he had to check up there. Now he's going to try and get by Bob Harden through the tri oval. Through turns one and two, it is Sandman Jr. out front. Mathis Wells and Rob Evans fall behind. And here it comes Mathis Wells on the inside trying to get that weed spot. He's to the inside, he's got the nose. Here he comes. And he will take the lead from what it looks like out of turns three and four. Nope, he will not. And we've got our first wave of cars pitting. Rob Evans is on pit road. Casey Hogan, Isaac Redman, Michael Canto, and Bob Harden. Many of the lead cars. Looks like they're all taking rights, lefts, and gas on this pit stop. Rob Evans is off of pit road already. Many of the drivers are already off pit road. Bengals NASCAR 39 is in. Nathaniel Penna is in. Zay Williams is in. TJ Hamley. Bengals NASCAR 39 was pitting. And the leaders are on. Sandman Jr. and Mathis Wells are down pit road. Get some more gas and some tires. And in comes James Kinghart in that Exalta All Pro Teachers Chevrolet. Mathis Wells is off along with the 88 Ducks Unlimited Chevrolet of Sandman Jr. And he will win the race off of pit road between them two. But back up front. We'll see what the lineup is here. Here it comes, Rob Evans. They, will, Those two come out in spots one and two, but Evans will try and get around them. He is closing the gap. And here it comes, Mathis Wells. He just gains out of turn four, and here he is to the inside. He dives low, looking to get the, <coughs> sorry, the lead spot. Coming into turn one, he will get around with help from Rob Evans, and Sam and Junior is going to have to tuck back down on line. Two Mountain Dew team cars running 1 2. Isaac Redmond, Frank Casey Hogan, as they go down the back stretch. Bob Harden in turns 3 and 4 along with Mike Canto, the third Mountain Dew team car. Daniel Penna towards the back of the field, not having a very good day here today, but we could possibly see him win races in the future. Just behind Bengals NASCAR 39, here he comes. Zay Williams off of turn four, and there's Corey LaJoy. But out front is Mathis Wells with teammate behind him. Also behind him is Sandman Jr. And that Exalted Ducks Unlimited Chevrolet. And diving to the inside is Sam Man Jr. at the trial here. Will he get the spot though is the question. Mathis Wells up to block Evans. And here it comes Sam Man Jr. into turns one and two. Looking for that spot, that second place spot. Mathis Wells is starting to pull away as they battle behind him. And it looks like Sam Jr. will clear him off of turn two. Now they're back to single file. Many battles have occurred for position so far, and you have just seen one of them. On board with Mathis Wells on the rear, the rear camera. He checks up. 
Clears down the corner. Rob Evans is coming to pit road. Take a gamble on strategy here. Looks like he's going to pit early and see if that will help play to his advantage. Quite possibly help him out here and maybe get him a chance to win. But meanwhile, Mathis Wells and Sandman Jr. stay out. Isaac Redmond's down pit road. Casey Hogan. And it looks like the 88 got contact on the right side. We'll go back in the replay and look at that. But you see side damage. He comes down pit road. We'll rewind. I don't think he got the wall. It could have been him coming off the pit road and made contact with somebody coming out of his stall the first pit the first pit stop. So we rewind back here. Running behind Bob Harden that time. Keep rewinding further back. Here they are coming off pit road. And there it was. You saw him make contact with Isaac Redmond's nationwide Chevrolet. So there you see his right side is clean. That was just my notification, guys. Um, wind valve for the live stream. But um, there is where the side damage came from. It looks like it's not going to hurt the car that bad. But Mathis Wells, in the meantime, out front. And he is going to come to pit road this time. Sam Ann Jr. will stay out for another lap. As Mathis Wells brings his Mountain Dew Chevrolet down pit road. Sam Ann Jr. quite possibly looking for a win here. Trying to play the strategy game. If he can save fuel, he could very easily get to the finish. But I think he's going to have to come to pit road one more time. Down the back stretch he goes. Here he comes in turn stream four. He will most likely be pitting this lap. Casey Hogan just behind him, along with Isaac Redmond. And don't forget, guys, we're off to Michigan next week for the Advanced Auto Parts 350. Here is Sam Man Jr. on the pit road. Tried to stay out a couple extra laps, but it looks like he's not going to be able to stretch the gap. Who will be back out front? Mathis Wells, just behind him. That Mountain Dew Chevrolet, he's been running up front all day. Just a strong day for that Mountain Dew car. And along with his teammate, Rob Evans, too. I mean, he's been just up front all day, keeping out front, running strong. Helped his teammate out when he's needed it and gave him some pushes. And Sam Ann Jr. is off of pit road just now. And here it comes Mathis Wells and teammate Rob Evans through the trial. And as he exits pit road, here come second and third place. And they will drive right around him. And Rob Evans will try and pass teammate Mathis Wells through turns one and two. Challenging for the lead on the inside. And it looks like Mathis Wells... Might clear him off of turn two, but he will not. He's got the nose coming down the back stretch. He's still there, and it looks like he's going to have that chosen line into turns three and four. Has his nose, and it looks like Mathis Wells will still clear him into turns three and four. Rob Evans just behind teammate here as they run one, two. they come to the next lap here these laps are winding down through turns one and two he's still in front of Rob Evans here down the back stretch here they come in turn three four and it's Rob Evans on the inside challenging for the lead once again here he is down to the inside and he is going to drive around Mathis Wells through turns three and four we have a new race leader and it's Rob Evans coming on a pit road here 
Mathis Wells will stay out. And it looks like Mathis Wells will lead this lap. I bet he was panicking there for a second, thinking that he's going to get past, but Rob Evans slows down, he's on to pit road. Mathis Wells, meanwhile, still leads this race. Down the back stretch he comes. We might see Mathis Wells pit this time. He might try to stretch it. It's Sam Ann Jr. just behind him. Mathis Wells through turns three and four. Here comes Sam Ann Jr. through three and four, and he's closing this gap. It's been a good strong day for this Mountain Dew team. So they've been just holding their own today up in the top five. He's running first. He's been all in the top three. Quite possibly could get a win here. Don't count him out of this one. Even if he pits, he should cycle right back up. Here he comes down the back stretch. into turns three and four and here he comes he dives down he's gonna be coming to pit road this time cap himself off on fuel and make it to the end here on lap 17 of 20 and it's Sam Ann Jr. that's gonna take the lead turns one and two coming up through lap traffic he's got Isaac Redmond lap down behind him here he comes up on more lap cars Casey Hogan in front of him and Mathis Wells is just off a of pit road now we could possibly see him win this race as he still has a chance to cycle through we are on lap 18 here he comes trying to get around Casey Hogan and it looks like Sandman Jr. will be coming down pit road this time and cap himself off. Rob Owens played strategy there earlier on in the race. He pitted earlier than the other guys. So he has fresher tires and more fuel than both Mathis Wells and Sandman Jr. The three that have just been battling for that front spot all day. You saw Isaac Redmond lead one lap, which was the first lap of the race, and then he just got shuffled back. And Sammy and Jr. just coming off pit road, and here's Mathis Wells coming through the trioval. Rob Evans just following behind him. And here they come, and they're going to drive right around Sammy and Jr. We are coming close to the finish. Rob Evans looking for... A very important win this season. See he falls behind team mate Mathis Wells and that green Mountain Dew Chevrolet. Michael Canto further back in ninth. And here he comes to the inside. Oh, and Mathis Wells tries to block. He's there. He's got the nose. Looking for that lead spot coming out of turn four. Here he comes. He's going to drive right around Mathis Wells. This could be the pass for the win. And he is going to clear Mathis Wells. Here they come. White flag. Last lap. Through turns one and two. He's got a gap on Mathis Wells. Down the back stretch. Here he comes. Mathis Wells trying to close that gap. Into turns three and four. Off of turn number four, Rob Evans made the last lap pass. Coming to the checkered flag, he is your Exalta 500 winner.
And a big day for that Mountain Dew Do I Say team. They have just won their first ever race of the season. As he will look to capitalize and take that momentum into next week, which will be at Michigan for the Advanced Auto Parts 350. We will go ahead and be taking a look at your point standings. There you see the final results. Rob Evans first, Mathis Wells second, and Sam Mann Jr. third. Isaac Urban fourth, and Casey Hogan fifth. That was your top five. Then you have Bob Harden in sixth, TJ Hanley in seventh, James King in eighth, Michael Canto in ninth, and Bengals NASCAR 39 in tenth. And here are your point standings. Rob Evans in the lead with 180, and Mathis Wells and Sam Mann Jr. tied for second in points with just five back. Isaac Redman in fourth with 15 points back. And there you guys can see further down everyone else. So our next race will be at Michigan. So.